Seeming versus GM. Let's go. Let me say uh, hello to everybody. Hello, Dion Dio san. Konbanwa. Yoroshiku naishimas. Ragna san mo. Eto, kyo mo yoroshiku naishimas. Deadly Ocean san mo. Eto, hatsu no. Eto, sanka de. Gambatte kudasai. Korea Peace mo. Sanka shite ita daite. Ariga tozaimasu. Kamiki san, gambatte kudasai. Then, Chit san. Hey, how are you doing? Konbanwa, my guy. How are you doing, Dom? Welcome back, bro. Okay, I'm all cut up, and here we go with the first match of tonight. It's gonna be Coming versus GM. I'm not quite sure if I should say Coming. It's probably Seeming. Seeming. Mm. Let's let's call him Coming. Or okay? who is currently rocking none other than May has a blue aura, by the way. So definitely no um, no slouch. She's probably gonna be showing it during the match uh, right now. Well, unfortunately, right now he's getting pummeled by GM. But it is only the first, uh, the literal first round. So it's only. Uh, you know, the round to gather some intelligence to see what are the tendency of the opponent. So it really, it doesn't matter if you lose it or not. If anything, sometimes losing the first round might prepare you to win the other ones. But as of now, it is definitely in favor of uh, GM who managed to snatch the first round. So let's see how um, how uh, coming is going to enter the fashion. GM going with the four-way mix-up of Melia, going for the empty low, got hit by the vertical. Uh, Totsugeki, and here we go with GM, wow, manages to get a ooh, freaking counter hit into the new uh, move of Melia, which does a heck ton of damage. Okay, GM is gonna get the hard knockdown with the super, goes with the new move, I need to remember the, the, the move's name, by the way, but it should be enough to kill, thanks to the wall break, yes it is, and here we go with the first match. Going to GM in a very, very, very... The Mega Fist. <laughs> yeah, the Melia Mega Fist, as we see, we call it, for sure. But let me check the real naming of this move, because I completely forgot it. And I can tell you that GM is probably going to resort to using it very, very often, as we could have seen... As we have seen already during this first uh, this first match. And the move's name is Artemis, indeed. I need to remember it. Artemis. Oh, thank you very much, Zom. Yeah, it is Artemis. Much appreciated. Anyways, and here we go with DM getting the wall break. <laughs> We're back to the neutral. Ah, unfortunately, GM got jumped on. Coming, going for the fake cross-up. Gets the opening. Should be able to get the wall break with Yamada-san. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> Big damage right here. GM, well, uh, unfortunately, Mila does not have a lot of health, nor does she have a lot of guts. So she is, uh, she is, unfortunately, uh, well, she falls victim to hard-hitting characters but as of now gm used not only the super but also the rc since they had two bars of tension they were able to get out of harm's way and it's back to the neutral both character with a lot of mobility and gm finding the opening and converting using the wild assault for the kill gm looking extremely strong not going to lie extremely strong melee player as i can say right now as i can see right now goes for the cross up gets the knockdown oh yeah goes for the fake cross up pushes coming into the capel oh good lord and here we go finally forcing coming to pop the burst good lord what is going on and here we go with gm gonna get that wall break with the artemis okay unfortunately for gm they did not have a bar of super so weren't able to uh to get a hard knockdown but it's still okay they have a huge life lead and also managed to win the first round, so the first match. Oh, good lord. And unfortunately for coming, they tried to catch, well, to grab GM in the air, but yeah, they were a little bit off uh, ten, uh, off on, um, what's it called, um, on timing-wise. Yeah, but it's still fine. We can still be a uh, witness to a comeback. We never know. We never know for sure. Okay, here we go with GM with the... Oh, lord. Already got the opening, forcing coming to pop the burst. And again with the jump in. GM should be able to, yep, yeah, juggle into the wall break. Uses the Artemis to get the wall break. Okay, and here we go with the far S. Couldn't quite get a, a conversion off of it. Gets the whiff on the 2S. Are you serious? Goes for the cross up using the. Um, that's a good question. The Turbo Fall. <laughs> Oh, and here we go with GM using the slowdown of the RC to catch the bag dash of coming. Everything going in GM's way for now. Let's see if when I upload this, uh, when I upload the tournament on YouTube, will I get the visit from the very adamant viewer who who dooms uh, Milia 
if we can see GM winning the tournament today, it would be extremely funny. Oh, but here we go with GM forcing the, uh, getting hit by the burst of coming. Okay, good blocks right there. But GM still getting hit by the vertical Totsugeki. Forced to pop the burst. Let's see how this spins out. Again, GM with the, yeah, the jump in. Couldn't quite get the conversion though. Ooh! Catches somebody, catching coming, standing a little bit too early. You can see coming definitely struggling right there to get something going. Ooh, wow, and GM, man. The blocks. The blocks from coming, yo. The GM guy has a great melee. First time seeing this player. Me too, me too, man. Extremely strong. Oh, extremely strong melee, but coming is slowly adapting. Oh, and unfortunately for them, it's not gonna be enough, is it? Yeah, it. Oh, no, they drop it. Oh, and the Abari from coming. Yeah, bar from coming, yo. Finally manages to put one on the board. Well, one round on the board at least. Not enough to for the uh, the whole what's it called for the whole uh, the whole match though. Okay, let me check the brackets real quick just to be sure that nobody called me. And I think everything is going pretty good. Perfect. Okie dokie, birds and cookie, and here we go with coming, man. Using a lot of this aerial mobility of me in order to negate the approach from GM. Gets the grab, goes for the low. Should be able to get the wall break. It does get the wall break. Unfortunately, didn't have any uh, super bar in order to secure the hard knockdown. And GM back. Oh no, that was a unfortunately timed normal. And the Totsugeki for the win. Finally coming. Coming. Finally putting one on the board. Okay, it wasn't completely... It wasn't free at all. Let's see if coming can make it come back. That would be extremely hype. Unfortunately, gets jumped in. Doesn't burst yet. Oh lord, my burst right now. Ooh, and you can see GM, man, trying to bait the burst and coming, just holding onto it. And rightfully so, by the way. If C, if coming had, uh, if coming had, um, what's it called, uh, burst at that particular moment, that would have been horrible for him. But anyways, yeah, coming probably gonna die with the burst, which is fine. At least he could use it for the next, uh, round, but he absolutely needs to win this one, though. No more, no more, uh, yeah, no more... Errors from his part. Very nice pickup with the jumping K. He's gonna use Arisugawa-san in order to get the lockdown with the pressure. Gonna get the wall break. Very nicely done from coming. Was gonna be the approach. You can see, yeah. Coming using a lot of the vertical. Uh, Totsugeki gets the conversion. Gets the confirm with the uh, Totsugeki and gets the kill. Perfect, is it? No. Almost so perfect. Okay, coming, saving the, uh, the, the match. The match point. Oh, gets the 6P. Unfortunately, unfortunately, but it's still fine. He still gets the... Oh, no. What is going on coming? What are you doing? That was a big scramble right there. And GM came out on top, unfortunately, for coming. He does not have any burst anymore. It's slowly coming. Just a little bit more. And she should be able to get the burst. Nice pacing from GM. Punishes the Totsugeki attempt from coming. And it's a... Yep. Yeah, it's a mix time. Okay. GM getting out of the corner. Things are looking pretty good for them. They have... Full free ads over. Oh, they could finish it there and goes for the moon. The bad moon. What a bad moon. <laughs> what a bad moon. No, this uh, this dude. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's going to be rocking none other than Anji. So let's see if Akahu is capable of taking on one of the best Potemkin player in the whole wild world. We shall see. Anyways, on with the first battle. Uh, just give me one close a second, please. That was a good attempt to come back, for sure, for sure. No, he played very good. I just think that, uh, GM just played a little bit better. That's really just uh, how it boiled, boiled down. But yeah, definitely very strong May player, and he had some good stuff going on, you know? It's, and sometimes you just, you just play against, uh, players who have a way of playing that completely negates yours. Wow, what a bag dash! What a bag dash on the on the goldfish. Holy freaking lord. That is character knowledge check for you right here. Holy freaking lord. Very nicely done by FAB. Gets the first round. Oh lord. Okay, let's see how this spins out. What, so what song is this? Dun, dun, dun. That's a Final Fantasy song, isn't it? If I'm correct. Let me check. I like this song, yeah. Fight against Kulex. Oh, it's Super Mario RPG. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. It really sounded like a freaking Final Fantasy song. 
But anyways, here we go with the <laughs> here we go with the um what's it called the um, the Garuda impact for the kill. FAB taking the first match extremely convincingly. Let's see if he can continue in this fashion. Battle against the four fiends from FF. Oh, okay, my bad. What the hell? Fight against Colic Super Mario RPG remake. Okay. Uh, okay, but that's FF4. Okay. They use it for the. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's okay. That's the reason why I thought it was uh, Final Fantasy IV. Okay, okay, yeah. Because I definitely heard this shit before, and it wasn't in in Super Mario RPG. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's good to hear. Very nice remake. Yeah. Definitely sounds pretty good. That being said, here we go with Akahu in the corner, trying to get something going. Unfortunately, gets grabbed. You hate to see it. Colex is uh, an FF. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I never really played Super Mario RPG, so I'm not quite familiar. Is it in like the remake? The one that came out recently? Ouch, and here we go with look at the damage. And FAB with the first round of this second match as well. Definitely doing quite a number on Akahu, not going to lie. Okay, and you can see FAB trying to get the hit with the slider head to get as close as possible to Akahu. Very nice. Ooh, and the double, yo, the double reflect on Akahu. To be sure to force him into a oh a blocking stance that could have been huge right there with the reflect shield that was actually did oh wow bad mega fist counter hit you have to eat the pressure what is gonna be uh the schmicks you have to be careful oh in the back dash yeah you can see fab yo fab knows fab knows she knows for sure man this is crazy man the back dash on the koi is so intelligent from him very very nicely done now let's see how this fans out. Is Aka who going to find a way to bring it back? But man, the knowledge checks from FAB. This dude does not. He does not mess around, man. Here we go. And the follow-up, man. Uh, and Garuda Impact. Look, your life, your life slowly fading away. Okay, FAB not use it. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Bye-bye. Boom. <laughs> Good lord. FAB with the perfect. Good lord. FAB. Completely, like, not giving a single chance right there to Akahu to do anything at all. Let's see how this spins out. Slider head right there to tank the first hit. And then forcing the knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. And, ooh, okay, here we go, finally. Akahu getting something starting. But you can see FAB using the instant block. <laughs> okay, Akahu finally getting the grab. Okay, gonna go for the overhead. Very nice blocks from FAB. Oh, no, wow! Oh, good lord! And this is death right here. This is definitely death. Yep. Oh, or not. Or not. Or not. Ah, wait. Is this death? It is! It is death. Good lord! FAB, yo! The name. I'm gonna put Usui Team, uh, such as what uh, people have recommended me, uh, recommended me to do. Since Usui plays like a heck ton of... Uh, a heck ton of... Um, of uh, characters all the time. I'm just gonna change his name real quick to team so that at least I don't need to like change the name every time he changes a character. Uh, so here we go. We see team. Okie dokie, Britain, because we're good to go. So, uh, wait one sec. Okay, as you can see, uh, Usui's uh, team uh, doing a very good job of keeping Atra in the corner. And just as I say this, Atra already out of the corner. Uh, definitely wary of the car right there. Ah, uh, goes for the uh, sultry performance. Okay, and very nice use of the 6P right there. Was able to get the pickup. Gonna go, ooh, okay. Not going to break the wall. And Usui team, man, with a close S anti right there. Too far to get the follow-up uh, with the Miss Finder. Should be able to get the kill right there with the confirm into the overdrive. Very nicely done by Usui team. Gets the first round pretty nicely, not going to lie. And on to the second uh, match. Let's see how this pans out. Okie dokie, Brids and Cookie were good. Okay, yeah, Atra trying to maneuver around both the Miss Finder. Oh, Lord, very nice. Good blocks right there. Oh, but yeah, Usui not taking his turn back, unfortunately. He was lucky that Atra did not... Oh, wow, big cool says this is going to do a ton of damage. Ton of damage. Boom! What's my name, baby? Let's go. Ori no Nawa. Boom! Damn, not enough to kill, but good lord, the damage. Holy freaking lord, that was huge. Oh, Lord, he tried to go for the fake uh, tap dust right here. The the type of thing you can only do to good character, to good players. Because, uh, 
bad players will not expect this move to come out and won't be able to block uh, in time and will in the end block your mix which will be the 2k instead of the tab dust okay good stuff right there from usui team almost got the grab gets the jump back okay and uses the aerial misfinder in order to slow down his uh to slow down his landing sequence and not get hit by the 6 feet <coughs> of atra atra struggling a little bit right now not going to lie okay nice six pair there from atra gonna go for the note mix up and gonna get the wall break doesn't use the super in order to secure a hard knockdown though let's see how this spins out both spending a ton of time in the air not going to lie and here you go with the miss finer pressure yeah usui slayer Ooh, trying probably to check them stroke attempts but Atra being very patient, who doesn't want to overextend. Oh, Lord, and the blocks from Atra, though. And Atra, oh, no! Missed time, the closest right there. Dropped the combo. And now, here we go with the stroke. Atra going for the empty low. Not enough to kill. Needs one more. Yep, one more hit. And the grab for the kill. Very nicely done. Atra not out of this yet. Atra is a very, very strong, you know, player, by the way. So, definitely looking, uh, expecting a lot uh, of him today. Let's just see how this uh, goes. As of now, Atra has quite a problem uh, maintaining Usui team in on, on the floor, basically. Usui be being extremely mobile, doesn't want to, yeah, wants to take his time. Oh, nice, confirm right there, goes for the low, the re-jump, not enough. Oh, you could see Atra trying to get the aerial grab, but man, Usui just maneuvering. Oh, here we go with the misfinder, gets the, oh, the knockdown, ooh. That was scary. And the stroke, unfortunately, gets checked right there by Usui Slayer Suez. Goes for the grab this time around. And the card has been put on deck. You have to hold it. Man, the defense of Atra has been pristine. I'm really not going to lie. Not getting hit by a single one of the instant overheads of Usui Slayer. Not enough to kill, though. Nice confirms. One more hit is all that is left. And here we go with the aerial misfinder for the kill. Okay, one round apiece. Atra absolutely needs this one if he wants to. If he wants to uh, not make things too dramatic for his side. Goes for the conversion with the well with the extension of the wild assault to get the wall break. Boom. Okay, back to the neutral. Atra using a lot of oh of dives. Yeah, it's the oh good stuff, okay. I don't really know why they used the RC right there. Probably were afraid that... Well, imagine that uh, Usi had burst and probably wanted to bait it, I suppose. But unfortunately for them, yeah, Usi didn't have burst, but it's still fine. They have a huge life lead. Things are looking pretty good for Atra. Gets it by the 6k, though. This is probably not too good. And here we go with the queen. Or the wall break. Hard knockdown. Guaranteed. Oh, goes for the 2s. And Atra is caught standing right there. Oh, okay. What's gonna be the the follow-up thank you very much for the follow kashiksu and welcome to the brojo oh and this is gonna be the kill good stuff from usui brings it back yo this is a huge i'm not gonna lie atra down two to zero this is looking pretty bleak for them not going to lie so let's see how this pans out okay big h stroke right there from atra gonna get grabbed though and here we go with another grab from usui Okay, Atra having to hold it. See how this spins out. Ah, big 6PO. That did. Uh, that that was really unfortunate for them. Very nice music, by the way. You guys have very good music taste. Every single music I've uh, listened to, like for the past 15 to 20 minutes, were all pristine. Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. Okay, anyways, here we go with the conversion from Usika. Boom! Things are looking pretty bleak right there. Four Atra gets the grab, well, gets the, the block actually. Manages to block using the uh, fuzzy jumps. Ah, bit to call out on the re jump. Good lord from Usi. Usi definitely knowing his matchup right there. That was huge for Usi. Good stuff. Sometimes you just have to. Wow. <laughs> and the dashes are real for Usi Slayer wanting that grab. Yeah, looking for the shimmy right there. Encouraging Atra to press the grab button in order to take the, the grab attempt. Big stuff right there, and again, man, Atra blocking every single instant overhead attempt for Musi. Uh, you can feel Atra being a little bit angsty right now. He, nice jump back right there from Usi Slayer getting picked by the stroke, though. 
Okay, here we go. And oh uh, yeah, it's a mix big for S. Uh, is it BS? I'm sorry, it might be BS actually. But yeah, good stuff right there from uh, from Usi. Definitely leading right here. Probably gonna try to bait the burst. No, couldn't quite. One more chance right there from Atra. If he gets it even once, it is over for them. What is? What are they gonna do? We're gonna see. Is the forest? Yeah, my bad. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the instant block, and this is gonna be it. Usui, man. Usui taking it a clean night. Jiju versus Kohide. Who's going to send the other one in the loser bracket? We shall see in a couple of seconds. That being said, uh, just give me a couple of seconds, guys. So sorry. Just one second. Okay, sorry for the win. Okay, here we go. We are good to go. And so far, Kohide has a slight lively get the hit with the Nasante. This is huge, and this is going to be death, by the way. Yep, straight into the Ventania for the kill. Kaboom! Out of here, Faust. No medicine is required over here. Let's see how this spins up for the second round, though. Oh, wow. Kohide just going straight forward. Gets the hit with the, uh, the Far Age. And gets the wall break as well. Huge damage right now. Holy freaking lord. Half of your life is already gone, sir. And big hit right there with the simple to ride, I believe. Into the Ventania again for the kill. Kohide with the quick first match right here. Extremely dominant. Not going to lie. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, sometimes we have like a uh, connection error. And unfortunately, we have to redo the room. But that being said, the first round went to Kohide in a very, very convincing manner. Uh, gets the hit right there with the uh, Puente. No, not the Puente, the, the freaking what's it called? The Sepultura. <laughs> I, I have such a shitty memory when it comes to remembering the moves, the names of the moves of the characters. So yeah, I have my uh, cheat sheet right here. And that was the Sepultura indeed. Yes, okay, I'm good. Anyways, here we go with the Ventania with the follow up RC and Koide managing to get the kill with the follow up. On with the second round of the second match. Is Kohide gonna get it or not? We shall see. Gets the counter hit with the 2D. Gonna get the juggle until and with the wall break. Okay, back to the neutral right there. Kohide is gonna have the positive bonus too. Though goes for a dash into the sending S. Oh lord. Nice blocks right there. Ooh, okay. Kohide knowing that Little Faust came out to play. Blocked correctly. Oh, unfortunately for them, they got caught. Um... By surprise and gonna get wall broken. Ooh, that was a very, very close. Almost made it with our oh, big 6P right there from Kohide. Gonna. Ooh, wow, the conversion is freaking crazy. Good stuff from Kohide. Probably not gonna RC. Yeah, and rightfully so. You're probably gonna wake up with the super or not. Gonna go for the. Oh, Lord. Oh, the jump back from Kohide is mad crazy. Finally getting hit by the command grab, and it's off for time for Yusa. But Kohide also having, yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah, the things are looking pretty good. Very nice. Oh, but the blocks, man. The blocks from Jiju were actually pretty good. Not gonna lie. But uh, so far, Kohide taking the lead 2 to 0. Is Jiju gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. But for now, everything is going in Kohide's favor. Gonna get the juggle and the wall break. Boom! With the Puente. We love this move, don't we? Okay, oof, okay. Kohide with the 6P right there. Not getting hit by the scalpel. Kohide loving to dash forward and doing the uh, standing as though. Gonna get the wall break with the Nasante into the uh, the Ventania. Okay, and here we go with the jump in with the blue Roman cancel in order to get a fuzzy. Very nicely done. Oh, big 6P, oh! Not enough to kill. Oh, Lord! Using the aerial overdrive and still with this reactionary 6P, yo. Kohide on point. What did this man eat today? Holy freaking lord. That is crazy. Okay, okay, and here we go with the juggle. Kohide should be able to get the wall break. Very efficiently. Very nicely done. He's definitely speedrunning. Oh, good lord. Everything is going in his favor. Every single thing. Finally. Oh. And when you think everything that 
did you might have a chance uh here we go with the fuzzy and this is uh, probably death yeah yeah this is death good stuff good luck. man ruthless ruthless kohita taking it a call no already uh the dps have been globally nerfed you cannot uh roman cancel dps well uh how do you call it uh meterless reversals anymore so this is definitely going to be a plus for anybody playing against uh, a, a meterless reversal type of character and this definitely includes uh well leo since leo is probably the poster boy of dp in guilty gear survive even more so than sol if you have to ask me that being said gionaro finding the opening gets the juggle gonna get the wall break using the overdrive let's see what moron is gonna do what is gonna be the wake up oh wow that was a very gutsy but that worked out in the end using the rc in order to save to make uh, their move safe oh big dp right there from gionaru gets the kill very nicely done the first round goes to gionaru let's see if moron can uh can bring it back quote unquote since uh, nothing's quite decided yet okay uh, a little bit too early right there on the use of the on the use of the crow though so back in the neutral, neutral is definitely where Testament wants to be in this matchup. Not too close, not too far. Just right where they can just zone your ass, like, very, very safely, if I might say. Okay, good stuff right there from Moron. Definitely looking good. Close for the MT. Uh, jump into the low. Oh, again. Oh, no, too late. Oh, but still the, another DP. Let's see. Oh, man, you cannot, you cannot condition this man. And here we go with the skull for the kill. Very nicely done. Okay, one round apiece. It is uh, not over until it's over. Okay, here we go with the trades. You can see Amaron being a little bit more wary of continuing their block strings against Yonaru since Yonaru has shown that he is not here to respect your block string and will definitely DP in them. Wow, here we go with that. Wow, the wake up reversal from Amaron gets the hit. I oh, couldn't quite get the juggle afterwards. Gets the grab though. And here we go with the cross up and Moron getting the kill with none other than uh, the Grave Reaper. Very nicely done. Okay, and on to the next battle. <clears throat> okay, very good. Okay, we're good to go. And here we go with the Iron Bucket. <laughs> from Jill now we're gonna get the hard knockdown okay and back to the neutral Jill now we're getting the confirm should be able to get the kill if they don't drop the combo and it's not the case and it's the case so it's good okie dokie on to the next battle Moron down one round but up one uh, actually the person to get yeah Moron got the first match my bad here we go with the juggle Moron should be able to get the wall break or not and gets hit by the DP once again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice blocks from Moron. Gonna get for, go for the grab. And it's... Oh, wow. That was so tricky. Using the RC to cancel the Unholy Diver into the uh, Arbiter Sign in order to get not only the Stain State on Gionaru, but also the follow-up uh, Arbiter Sign to hit without, uh, well, Gionaru expecting it and getting the Wall Break from it that was a very nicely done from Moron. Moron getting hit though right there get gets the hit with the 2k right there hitting them feats goes for the uh grave okay i'm back to the neutral Moron doing a very good job of controlling the neutral right there forcing gionaru to take risks in order to get in gionaru trying to use the guard point in order to uh to tank one of the uh to tank the uh, the grave rippers finally gets hit with the db oh man nice blocks right there from moron oh man that was a sick from moron should be able oh he could have gotten the uh the hard knockdown using some bars but unfortunately they didn't confirm it in time and you are in limbo yeah you have to be careful ah oh, it goes for the cross up Good thing. Oh, nice blocks right there from Gionaru. Should be able to get the kill. No. Gets the kill with the overhead right there in back. Uh, what's that? Turn back space. How do you call it? Uh, back turn space. Very nicely done. 
And on to the third match. Things are looking pretty even right now. Definitely hard to determine. Nobody's overly, like, uh, dominant as of now. It can definitely change with time. Okay, you can see it. Gionar trying... Trying to close the gap as quickly as possible, but unfortunately running in all of the normals of Moran. Really? Oh, nice read right there from Moran. Reading the grab, jumping back, and getting the counter hit. Should be able to get... Okay, doesn't go for the... Oh my lord, the use of the DP of Gionar has been crazy. Again, DP maybe... No. Can here we go with the grab. Okay, nice tick from Gionaru. Ah, man. Gionaru, yeah, having to go in. And that is quite unfortunate since Gionaru has been trying to get in, but yeah, he doesn't really have any choice but to take his... Oh, this time, very nice 2k 2d right there from Moran. Wow, oh, getting hit by the DP again. Ooh, nice jump back. Should be able to get the kill. And does. Good stuff from Moran, man. The use of... The, the, the ground, how you call it, the neutral control of Moran has been really pristine right there. Forcing Dionaru to take big, big risks and uh, losing life in the process in order to get in. Nice box. Moran goes for the grab. Goes for a safe jump. Gets the jump in. Goes for the safe setup. Ah, oh, man, and the freaking reversal right there from Gionaru doesn't uh, use the RC in order to get uh, the extension, but rightfully so because Moran had a uh, burst, so it... Pro uh, did they? I'm not quite sure, actually. Oh, and again with the freaking reversal twice in a row! Good lord, what's gonna be the mix? Here we go with Moran trying to get the grab, man, and gonna get heavily punished for it. Gionaru, man, with the comeback, that was crazy stuff. Good stuff from Gionaru. We don't have a lot of Leo players, so it's always a pleasure seeing them here. I know that uh, most of you guys who are watching from abroad, you're probably tired of seeing Leo, but the fact of the matter is that in Asia, we don't have a lot of Leo players, so it's it's quite refreshing to see uh, some Leo players in the tournament. I'm really not going to lie. Anyways, here we go with the wall break using the... Um, uh, how do you call it? The... Um, Nasrovia? Not Nasrovia. Not Nasrovia? Yeah. I need to check again. Where's my check sheet? Where's my cheat sheet? It's Nostrovia, yes, I had it correctly. Tempest single-handedly forcing Japan to reconsider Leo. For sh for real, man, for real. And here we go with the 6H for the kill and Maroon taking the lead 2 to 1. What is Gionaru gonna do? What is he gonna do? Let's see, let's see. Anyways, on to the next battle. And wow, Maroon checking these uh yeah. Checking these charges from Gionaru using the 2S goes for the teleportation station, the possession, in order to uh, catch Gionaru off guard. Maron, yeah, not wanting to have to deal with to, with any type of yeah, any type of pressure right there. Ooh, the jump out was so gutsy from uh, Maron right there. Okay, gets the 2K in, gets the juggle, goes for the uh, delayed grave. Wait one second. Mm. Grave Reaper, yeah. Oh man, and here we go with this side from Gionaru. Ooh, nice backdashes though from Maron. This is gonna be huge though. And this is gonna be death actually. And Gionaru, yo, not letting it up. And rightfully so. Let's see if Gionaru can bring it back. Gets the two gets the K in, but doesn't go with the follow-up, which is unfortunate. Oh man, big follow up from the guard point. This is huge. Oh yeah, and here we go with the iron bouquet. But yeah, thankfully Moran. Oh, Moran getting hit by the guard point again. Okay, good stuff right there from Gionar. Gonna get the wall break. Things are looking pretty bleak for Moran for this particular match. And this should be it. Boom, Gionaru bringing it back. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. We have a... Hi, ladies and gentlemen, who is going to send the other one in the loser's bracket? We shall see. We shall see Maron taking time to really think whether or not they should stick with um, with Testament and decides to do so. Let's see how this spins out. Okay. Oh, wow, that was a big counter hit for Maron. Getting hit by the charge, though. Oh, big 6p from Maron. I'm going to get some uh, real estate space back. Goes for a oh a fake uh oh lord tried to go miss time their save jump right there from Moran Moran back with the neutral definitely does not want to overextend 
jumps back a lot right there. Probably wary of the charge. Ah, this is huge and manages to pick up Jonah right at the freaking the right at the the the, the tip of their teeth. Uh, not their, their teeth, the tip of their toes, man. Very nicely done. Oh, too far to get the juggle with the uh, what's it called the um wall assault. And Jonaro, Jonaro, oh, catching back dash. Oh, catching you back dashing a wee bit too much. Jonaro looking pretty good. Are we going on to the last round of the last match, yo? Oh, getting ring with the closest we have. We're going down to the last round of the last match, ladies and gentlemen. This is not even the semifinals. This is just one random match in the winner's bracket. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. Things are pretty, looking pretty good for Moron, though. Oh, Jonaru tried to get the jump in, but yeah, unfortunately wasn't able to do so. Moron probably locking in on the Testament for the season. The buffs are great for sure, and I totally understand why. The buffs have been crazy for Testament. She oh, and here we go, and Maron manages to seal the deal and takes it. <laughs> uh, that, that's unfortunate. So they weren't able to start the match, but right now he took the block off. So yeah, they, they'll be able to play together. Yeah, so guys, I'm just going to go uh, fetch myself a real quick uh, glass of water. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, sorry for the wait, and one more, looking pretty good, manages to get the first match, the first round, yo, very nicely done. So, just for uh, your information, Hakule Leimu managed to do top two during the last Brojo Cup, so this dude is very, very strong. And uh, one more, um, actually managed to also make top eight, if I'm correct, let me check real, real quick. Uh, during the last Brojo Cup, one more managed to make... Okay, my bad. Uh, one more wasn't in the top eight in the previous uh, Brojo Cup, but uh, yes, uh, Hakure Lemu is a very, very strong Kai player. So, uh, but one more is definitely no slash. He's a very strong melee player as well. So let's see how this pans out. As of now, things are looking pretty good for one more. Who manages to take the first match extremely convincingly? First match to uh, one more. Let's see if this can continue in this way. On with the second match, let's see if Agure Nemu can manage to bring it back. Let me check the uh, the brackets real quick too, guys. And things are looking pretty good. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're uh, almost... Okay, after this match, we are in the uh, winner's semifinal. So yeah, things are actually going very smooth for the number of uh, players that we have today. It is actually pretty crazy. Thank you very much for the follow, Pankumi, and thank you very much for the follow, Chris Intex. And welcome to the Brojos. Okie dokie, breads and cookie all. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> okay, nice grab right there from one more. <clears throat> and here we go with the closest for one more. Gonna get the juggle. Good stuff from a one more. Uh, too far to get the uh, tendon top to reach. However, one more is gonna get the grab. Goes for the double overhead. Nice blocks from Hakure Demu. Manages to get the hit with the uh, stun dipper. Should be able to get the wall break. No uh, burst from one more, and rightfully so. This is their last burst of the round, so they need to be extremely careful. Oh, manages to get the hit with the sledge. And gets the... Yeah, the confirm right straight into the freaking reverse of the, the, the overdrive. Good stuff from one more. Let's see if Hakure Demu manages to bring it back the ooh gets hit by the closet and the dp has been baited okay lemu delaying their burst just to be sure not to get uh baited burst baited by one more okay both don't have any burst anymore nice 6p right there from one more couldn't quite get the uh the wall break the the, the knockdown though okay here we go the mobility of one more has been pristine I sense a stun dipper though. Okay, nice use of the Artemis right there to punish the uh, punish attempt of Hagrelim. Hagrelim getting the hit with the stun dipper though. And here we go with the direct lot. Well. 
Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, nice jump in right there from one more. Oh, get the first! He got the freaking bait on the on the burst. This is huge. One more hit and the grab for the kill. Yo, one more in the house, yo. Up to the zero on the verge of sending one of the favorites of tonight in the losers bracket. That would be huge. So let's see how this spins out. Wait a second. Okay, Hagiara is uh, still in. Damn, we have a lot of upsets today, by the way. That is crazy. We have so many big players in the loser bracket right now. GM made it in the uh, semifinals, by the way. Eliminate, uh, sending uh, Usui Slayer in the loser's bracket too. So GM, I don't know if you guys remember, but GM is the uh, South Korean Melia player. So he managed to make it to the winner's semifinals. Guys, we have a lot of very good matches tonight. This is going to be huge. We, we probably may, might have a new, uh, a whole new like Brojo Cup champion tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. This is about to be a very good Brojo Cup. And here's Zerigo with the wall break. <clears throat> So far, so good for one more. That being said, Hakure Lemu does have full resources that he uses for a Roman cancel in order to get the corner carry. Probably gonna use, yep, the Sacred Edge for the wall break. That being said, one more has two bars of super. Yeah, you can see that Hakure was probably gonna try to bait and gets hit with the, uh, what's it called, with the stun dipper right here. Okay, Hakure Lemu not totally out of it yet. But one more, definitely looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Tried to go for the grab, but yeah, Hakure Lemu was aware of it. Nice 6p from Hakure. Oh, unfortunately, backdash is a wee bit too many times. And unfortunately, 4-1 more, man. Gets a huge punish right there, straight into the ride, the lightning, yo. Kaboom! The RTL. Here we go with the fake, the empty jump into the grab. And just like this, Hakure Lemu finally puts one on the board. He's not out yet. Are we gonna see a reverse 3 0? If that's the case, it will be pretty freaking hype. I am not going to lie. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Nice air to air right there in favor of Hakule Demu. Oh, and gets air to air by himself thanks to the Capel. Nice to see uh, Wild Assault used for cool combos more than just mindless hard knockdown. I totally agree with you. And one of the changes of this current patch that I absolutely adore is the fact that the Wild. Assault cannot hard knock down anymore. That was the decision to make. And the other very good surprise is that now you cannot mindlessly wake up DP when you have one bar of attention in order to make it safe and then have a 50-50 on your opponent, which I find absolutely perfect. This is the way it should be and not else. And I absolutely love the direction that uh, Arc System decided to take by implementing these two changes right there, which should have been... Uh, like this ever since season one in my opinion very good yeah very good so it's definitely making me very uh hopeful for the rest uh for the next patch that is going to uh arrive in october definitely looking forward to it and just like this yo hakule lemu bring it back to the two we have a tie ladies and gentlemen what is one more gonna do everything seemed to go straight into his uh direction but hakule lemu just you know released the beast and was able to Bring it back, and as you can see, one more is definitely struggling a lot more. Ah, oh, man. I hope Kai finally gets a new move, but I don't have my hopes up. Oh, yes, he will. He has to. Because every single... Uh, every character of Season 1, so the base characters, every single one of them uh, are scheduled to have a new move. So we don't know when, but yeah, the Kai is going to get a new move. I don't know if it's going to be in October, though. I really don't. But uh, hopefully it's going to be the case. But we'll see, we'll see, yeah. But he's definitely gonna get it, yeah. Mm. Arxis pretty much confirmed new moves in October, yeah, for sure. Well, I know he has to, okay, but it's taking so long, it feels like it'll never happen. I see, I see. Yeah, they did take their, their sweet-ass time for it, for sure, yeah. I wish that they would just release all of the moves right at the same time, you know? It would make more sense than just releasing them, like, you know, one by one, <laughs> like, randomly. It, it doesn't make any sense for me. But anyways, it is what it is. Yeah, hopefully he'll get the new move. Right now, the characters which don't have any new move is Leo, uh, Sol, Kai, uh, what's his name, Zato, and here we go, and Hakule Lemu with the reverse 3 Oh man, it descends out. This is going to be an interesting matchup. So speed versus space control. Let's see who is going to make the other one, um, you know, shake a bit. We shall see. There was even an uh, implication that all characters will get new moves, not just the remaining launcher. Oh, this I would not want. <laughs> I really wouldn't want. 
to see that. I wouldn't want Jacko with a new move. That would be freaking horrible. <laughs> but yeah, just the thought of like, even Leo with a new move is gonna really make me scared, for sure. Leo, uh, Sol as well with a new move is gonna be absolutely terrifying. But yeah, it is what it is. Also, yeah, Gold Lewis with a new move is absolutely terrifying. Happy Chaos with a new move is also terrifying, even though I know he's been toned down. It's a, a absolutely terrifying thought for me. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm not quite... I, I don't quite agree with, with this uh, particular, <laughs> uh, you know, decision from Ar Arxis, if Arxis really decides to do this. Yeah, just the base. Um, the, the base cast would be more than enough, in my opinion. But yeah, we'll, I guess we'll see. Yeah, I really don't know what to think about it. But anyways, here we go. First round already for GM. And you can see, man, GM with the space control, man. Well, not the space control, but the speed. Really maneuvering over the Grave uh, Reaper and everything else that comes in between. Unfortunately for them, gets caught in the air. Very nice use of the... Oh, Lord, your burst has been baited. And this should do, yeah. Melia doesn't have a lot of health. If you get open with her... You better pray that you have enough health to be able to tank everything. And here we go with the space... The space movement from GM. GM running straight into a 2k right there, unfortunately for them. But yeah, you can see GM also using a lot of... Uh, uh, how do you call it? Um, instant blocks. Very, very, uh, very efficiently. So let's see how this spins out. And again, man, with the tap dust. Oh, and not... Not freaking the burst came in a little bit too late, unfortunately for GM. And Moran manages to take the first match, the first match. Yeah, let's see how this spins out for GM. Are they gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. GM, extremely strong melee player, by the way. So, wouldn't surprise me if they managed to do it, but we never know. We never know. Okay, so if it be uh, so, uh, as of now, as for the bracket, we are currently in the winner's final, uh, <laughs> the winner's semifinal. I'm sorry. Is GM versus Moran, then we'll move on to Hakurei Lemu versus Kohide. And after that, we'll switch to the loser's bracket, but the players have not yet been decided. In the loser's bracket, we currently have Gionaru, Gion Zio, we have Usui Team, we have Mugi, then we have FAB versus Caffeine, then we have one more versus Hagiara. So this is the current standing of the uh, bracket. Definitely a lot of very, very strong players still in, uh, in the race. So let's see who is going to win what. Very nice use of the Artemis for, for the wall break, uh, the wall break hit, and one more, and GM, man, I said one more, but GM, GM with the OTG kill, very nicely done. And on with the second match. Oh lord, wow, man, the maneuvering, we're on finally getting the hit. Okay, here we go. Moron doing a good job of playing Testament right now, man, using the 6 speed to prevent GM from uh, jumping too much, <laughs> if I might say. Here we go with the jump in. GM with the... Ooh, the side switch, man. Ooh, Lord! Good stuff, man. GM has been using the, uh, the turbo... The turbo fall very efficiently into the Capel. Okay, here we go with the cross-up. Oh man, yeah, things are looking pretty good, uh, pretty bad right there. Ooh, nice block on the 6p attempt. Ah man, oh, almost there, one more hit, and the hit game. And one more was able to snatch it right at the end. Okay, one round of piece GM, absolutely, well not absolutely, but preferably would be pretty good if they managed to get uh, the kill this time around, just to get a tie. Okay, here we go to jump in, turbo fall. Ah oh, man, here we go with the far S. I think the weaker characters greatly benefited from uh, Wild Assault, not giving hard knockdowns after Wild Assault. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, absolutely. Good lord. I feel it's just fairer uh, that the Wild Assault, because if the Wild Assault also causes hard knockdown, that's way too many ways to secure a hard knockdown and continue uh, like infinite pressure for some characters specifically also. Because if you get wall break, not only do you get positive bonus, so that means that whatever move that you use, for example, a super or uh, a burst gauge, you will get back uh, relatively quick because you're going to have a positive bonus. But it also makes it literally impossible for you not to have anything other than a hard knockdown because you have so many like resources to use 
in order to secure hard knockdown. It, ju it just like loops your pressure indefinitely and it just makes the game very dull, I feel. So the, the fact that they remove the hard knockdown uh, capabilities of the Wild Assault is is the best way to do because it, it brings in variety. It brings in also comeback factors because you won't be like in, in, in an infinite uh, pressure type of situation. You'll always, you might have like a chance to come back eventually, you know? Whereas when they kept it like a hard knockdown, it was like, ah, okay, I'm hard knocked down. I basically lost the, the game, you know? Especially if you're against somebody who has like a very hard pressure like Jacko or, uh, or Happy Chaos or Gold Lewis, you know, who are going to uh, loop in their in their pressure it's gonna be super hard for you to like get out of it and like survive so yeah I definitely like the fact that now you can only hard knock down with super which is what it should have been <laughs> they should have never made it uh, otherwise you know but yeah yeah I I'm happy with the change for sure I think most people are as well even the people who had like infinite pressure using the the wild assault not infinite pressure but you get my, my feeling you, you get my uh, my idea they, I'm pretty sure they're happy as well that this is out because it brings variety, in my opinion. Okay, and here we go. Finally, one more, not one more. GM putting one on the board. Are we going to see a reverse 3-0? That would be crazy if that's the case. It would be the second one we see in, like, literally uh, two, in, in, uh, two, um, two matches. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, good stuff right there. Man, GM going completely ham. Getting grabbed, though, unfortunately. Let's see how this pans out. They should have done this patch at least mid-season 3. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Exactly, for sure, yeah. For sure. Uh, it's, it's, it's taking a pretty nice direction, I feel. Like, it's rare for Arxis to nerf shit, but I feel like they should be doing this torp this, these types of nerfs a little bit more often. <laughs> I know it's system nerf and not like, you know, um, how do you call it? Surgical nerfs for one particular character. Feels like because of Evo's timing, they held out way too late. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. And here we go. GM should be able to seal it and does with the sledge. Very nicely done. Are we going to see a reverse 3 0, yo? That would be sick if we see it, man. If we see it, I'm really, really going to be super hyped. So I'm kind of in favor for GM right now. I kind of want to see more Milias in the top eight so that the dude who keeps like <laughs> downvoting my, <laughs> my YouTube videos, and I know who you are. I know you're a Melia player who doom about Melia. I just wanted for once Amelia to win the Brojo Cup so you will stop complaining. <laughs> but yeah, ah, things are looking pretty bleak right now. Look at this. Yeah, come on GM. Let's go, let's go. Melia, prove, prove that Melia can win. Come on. Come on GM, you can do it. <laughs> things are looking pretty bad though. Oh, and here we go. Close up pressure. Very nice delay from GM. Okay, now he's going low. One more, and here we go with GM, gonna get the wall break, very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice 6 speed. that was so gutsy, good lord! And gets the side through, it should be able to get the kill. Boom! And does GM bringing it back, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen, 2-2. Two two. Who is gonna take it, we shall see. Good lord! Man, the hype is real, yo. The hype is real. GM definitely definitely can oh no that was such an unfortunate gold burst okay let's see how this spins out and here we go with gm getting the wall break man maron is exploding right now this is actually pretty bad uh oh very nice uh walk out of the corner and a yellow roman cancel Ooh. okay artemis for the win good lord uh, you can see, like, like Maron getting a little bit annoyed. Oh, what is going on, Maron? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is Maron doing? What are they doing? Good lord. Ah, oh, that was a little bit unfortunate, I feel. But anyways, here we go. Oh, by the way, this is the semi-finals. My bad. I didn't freaking update the, the naming. Winner. Semi-finals. Here we go. Damn it. What a match, yeah, this is a crazy match, yo. Uh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. My bad, my bad. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the first semi-final match. Nice juggle right there from Moran. I think we're going down to the wire, and we are. Last round, last match. This is the second time in a row it happens, good lord. Okay, let's see who is going to take it. Very nice confirm right there. We'll juggle at least. 
Okay, here we go. GM. Oh, getting stained. Oh, and uses the freaking turbo fall into the capel. Wow, and what a lock. Oh, Lord, got hit. GM looking pretty good. GM gonna get the juggle, gonna get the corner positioning, and gonna get the wall break. One more hit is all that is required. Maroon might want to use his burst in order to get uh, yellow Roman cancel. Uh, yeah, the positive bonus, I'm sorry. Man, if Maroon like, brings it. Oh, and here we go, the reverse 3-0, the second one in a row, GM. The next battle, Hagre Reimer versus Kohide. This is the second match of the winner's uh, side, the second semi-final of the winner's side of the bracket. And we have our top eight uh, determined, by the way, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. So the top eight is going to be none other than... So GM, Marone, Hagure Reimu, Kohide, Gion, Zio, Usui Team, Caffeine, and Hagiara. But yeah, definitely looking forward to how uh, who is going to win. We shall see. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting, in my opinion. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the follow, uh, Genie, and welcome to the Pro Drill. Much appreciated. Anyways, here we go with the Stun Dipper, and how could they move very down uh, health-wise, but trying to make a comeback right now. Going to get the wall break. That being said, Cole, he did pass two bars right now, so it is going to be pretty tricky, and unfortunately, ooh, gets hit by the 6P right there. Cole, he did not... Uh, yeah, Kohide unfortunately didn't Roman Castle and gonna get the hit right there for the kill. Good stuff from Kohide, manages to get the kill. Okay, first round goes to Kohide. And on to the second match. Very nice pacing right there from Hagure Leimu. Ooh, could have got the... Probably could have gotten the, uh, the punish. Nice with punish though from Kohide. Okay, no punish on the cannon drill. Here we go, the simple Tura. And Kohide doing a good job of uh, forward dashing into the uh, faultless defense. Gonna get the hard knockdown with the Ventania. And here we go, the safe jump. Take throw into the Roman cancel. And Hagure Lim is still alive. Has all of the burst gets of wave punish right there into the Roman cancel. For a huge punish. Oh, and gets the freaking... Dragon install! What's well, gonna be? It's definitely gonna wake up. Definitely going to wake up. Yeah, of course. Obviously. Yeah. Oh, what? What? What happened? Wait, it's not over till it's over. Not over till it's over. And here we go with the stun different from the kill. How can Lele move still alive? That was a pretty nice combo, not gonna lie. Good stuff from How can Lele managed to bring it back. Oh, man. Big standing S counter hit, though. Fun Dipper coming in clutch for sure, yeah. When in doubt, just fun dipper, man. Just fun dipper. Here we go, the stun edge. Oh, no punish right there on the whiff, sending Kato. Nice block, though, from Hakulele. Nice grab, yo. What the hell was that? Here we go with the blue Roman cancel instead overhead. Oh, big cannon drill into the tap dust, into the Roman cancel, into corner carry combo. Probably gonna finish with the Vatania, or not. Burst came in hot. Nice spacing though from Hakulele move. Goes for the 2S. Ah, Dragon install again. I'm install you. Oh, the DP though. Oh, now the wake up overdrive. You, yeah, yeah, you did. You did, bro. Good stuff right there from Kokide. Not giving a single F. Just say, nope, I'm not going to. Endure any mixes you want to force upon me. I'm a wake up reversal. Good stuff right there from Kohide. They're gonna get the grab into the safe jump. How could lay him just letting the DB rip, man? Good lord. Yo, Shiho, welcome. How are you doing? And here we go with. Oh, good lord. Here we go with. Uh, yeah, this. Uh, the. The. What's called the. Um, food rip, not the food rip, are you? Um, I forgot the name. The freaking fireball of Kai. Uh. I forgot it. It's in, it's, it's gonna come back. Anyways, here we go with Kohide and Asante. Gonna get the juggle straight into the, the stun edge. Thank you very much. <laughs> I have such a shit memory. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I know. I, 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 I'm really... I have such a bad memory. <laughs> I need to do something about it. The stun edge. Thank you very much. Anyways, here we go with the stun edge, by the way. 
I'm doing pretty good, not that one guy, and thank you very much for asking. I hope you're doing well, uh, good as well. And here we go with the jump in from Kohide. Okay, oh, and Kohide, man, using the 6P not to get hit by the stun edge, by the way. Oh, big 6P right there. Kohide getting the knockdown, but getting hit by the wake up DP from from Hakulele. Gonna get the RTL into the hard knockdown. Let's see. Oh, close is catching the Baghdad. No Baghdad for you, sir. Good stuff right there from Hakulele. Oh man, Kohide going straight into grab loops right there. Giovanna is a grab character after all. Oh, sniffs the DP out. This is gonna be huge damage straight into the Ventania. Good lord. What's gonna be the Okizeme safe jump? Oh, big 2D, yo. Oh, that was crazy. Hakulele Lemu trying to snaps a bit, trying to get the grab in, but... And here we go with the jump in overdrive to punish the stun edge. And Kohide taking the lead 2-0, to zero, taking a pretty significant lead, by the way. Definitely, um... Probably a little bit salty from their last interaction, which was two weeks ago, during the Road Cup, where, unfortunately, Kohide was eliminated by uh, Hakurei Lemu, if I'm correct. Anyways, here we go with the combo sequence from Koide, who, uh, who decides to keep their tension bar, probably to, for their, oh, for this, <laughs> definitely for this, and this is going to be death, yeah, for sure, straight into the Ventania, ah uh, man, Koide is definitely in great shape today, I'm not going to lie, I have rarely seen him as active and as dominant as today, things are looking pretty good for him. That being said, Hakulei Lemu is definitely no slouch. Managing to make multiple top threes in recent Brojo Cups as well. But Koide, yeah, Koide is, yeah, you know. He's one of the poster boys of the Brojo Cup, so definitely no slouch. So let's see how this spins out. A nice wall break right there from Koide. It blocks the stun edge and lets the overdrive rip. But this time around, Hakulei Lemu with the fully charged dodge punish. Not enough to kill though, and... Oh, I knew it! I knew it! But, 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 but Hakulei Lemu knew it, and this time around goes for the grab for the kill. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. That Koide was gonna go for another uh, wake up... Wake up Ventania, for sure. Let's see how this spins up. Wow, Kohide checking the uh, the run-in with the 2k. Ooh, a little bit too far. Here we go with the, stu the uh, Fooder Dark. Nice spacing from Kohide, getting the juggle straight into the Ventania once more. Let's see how this spins out. We go with the jump in and this is gonna do. Kohide gets his revenge from last time in... Zombie. Let's see how this turns out. So, Gianzio versus the Sweet Team, South Korea versus Japan. Who's going to send the other one out of the tournament and make their way to the second round of the... Uh, well, it's not the, lose, the second round of the loser's uh, side of the bracket, but anyways, you catch my drift. Uh, we shall see. Oh, wow. Let's see how this turns out. They are both letting the introduction going on I love the I love the, the the physical appearance of Testament what what a cool ass character man that's crazy anyways that being said here we go we are in the loser side of the bracket this time around players fighting for their lives in the tournament definitely not wanting to get eliminated and wanting to eliminate their own uh, opponent so let's see who is going to make their way deeper in the bracket and hopefully in the loser semi-final. That being said, here we go with the instant overhead. Very nicely done by the Sweet Slayer. Gonna get the hard knockdown using the overdrive. Here we go with the save jump. Ooh, managed to get the uh, the double overhead right there. And this is gonna be death. First round goes to Johnny. Here's Johnny. Let's see. Johnny. Very nicely done. Here we go with the entire and the juggle. Finally forcing Gianzio to pop the burst. And with the Miss Finer hitting Gianzio very, very far. 
Let's see how this spins up. Very nice close assist right there from John Zio. I getting hit by the misfinder, unfortunately for them. I can definitely see how uh, this matchup could can be in favor of Johnny, for sure. And here we go again with the overdrive. Hmm. Okay, here we go with. Yeah. Oh man, the Sweet Slayer with the instant overhead, man, using the misfinder, absolutely delightful. Takes the first match. Let's see if Diamondio can manage to. Um, well, shift the tides of battle. As of now, they're still uh, sticking with Testament though. Nice grab right there from Musi. Gonna set up the card, gonna get the inside overhead. Forcing Gian Zio to pop the burst. The change that he got made him considerably strong for sure. Well, thankfully for me, uh, Eno has the advantage for both of these matchups, <laughs> thankfully. So, so it's fine. It's, it's gotten a little bit harder though, but Eno still has the advantage. But yeah, I can definitely see how it get how uh, both have been uh, powered up, yeah, for sure. And as we can see, things are looking pretty good for us right now. Okay, wow, very nice six spirit there from Dion Deal. Oh, gonna get hit by the far as well. And here we go with the wall break. Okay. Dion Deal. Just content to block right there, using the two K to low profile the uh, the standing S, the forest from John uh, from uh, John from Usi. Oh, okay, here we go with the juggle, finally forcing Usi to pop the to uh, pop the burst. Yeah, and again, man. Oh, no, too far to get the hard knock to get the uh, the wall break though. But still, it's still fun. Oh wow, and John Zio dying with their burst. This is really unfortunate. The second match goes to Sweet Team as well. And on to the third and potential last match of this current set. Oh man, and there we go with the Sweet Slayer, baiting Dion Zio to pop the wrist. Okay, and here we go with the RC. Wow, big counter hit Miss Finder almost got the full juggle, managed to get one hit in at least. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh man, Usui Slayer getting hit though. Uh yeah, Dion Dio. Ah, getting hit by the 2D, you hate to see it. Let's see how this spins out. Oh wow, that was a crazy RC. Usui Slayer getting dead with the Miss Finer. And potential last round of the set. Unless Dion Dio manages to find something new. Get too far to get the 6 8. Oh wow, the triple dash right there from Musi Slayer. I gotta go for the grab. Very nice block right there from Gian Zio. Still getting grabbed though. And the blocks again. Oh lord, man! Ah, closest for the entire straight into the overdrive, and this is gonna do. The sweet team taking it a clean three to nil and sending uh, either caffeine or Hagia though. But we'll see, we'll see. But it's one of the first time that both caffeine and Hagia have been sent to the losers bracket. And I'm curious to see who managed to to perform this feat. So let me check real quick. So, um I'm gonna tell you right away. Where's Hagiara? Uh, okay, caffeine was sent by Basto. I have no idea who this player is, but he managed to sink caffeine in the loser bracket. And unfortunately, we didn't see who he played. And Hagiara got sent by... Where's Hagiara? Hagi got... Hagi got sent by... Where the hell is Hagiara? I can't fucking see him. Where is he? Oh, okay, okay. And oh, wow, okay, okay. GM was the one to send Hagiara in the losers, actually. So yeah, yeah, we have a lot of upsets, yo. That's crazy. So Caffeine got sent by a player called Vasto, who unfortunately we couldn't, we didn't see the, the match. And Hagiara got sent to the losers by GM, so the, the, the Melia player. So things are looking pretty good for GM right now. Very, very good. And he sent Hagiara with a 3 to 1. So. 
that is definitely a very, very strong performance for him. Anyways, we'll see how this pans out. For now, uh, first match goes to Agera. Oh yeah, he is, man. He definitely is. GM is very, very, very strong, man. I never heard about him before, but I'm glad that I do right now. So yeah, that's good, that's good. I want more melee representation for sure. I want I want people to showcase how the character is really strong. Cool to see some uncommon names perform. Yeah, definitely. But the, my only regret is that we couldn't see the the match of uh, of Vasto. So Vasto is a new player, newcomer, and we did we couldn't see his match. So, and he played against Kathleen and sent them in the loser. So I'm really 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 sad we couldn't see his uh, his his match. But it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll see him next time. GM is for God melee. Oh, okay. This makes sense. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. This makes total sense. God melee. Okay. Well, he does. He definitely. Uh, he definitely uh, wears this name very, very good. I see. That makes all sense. Okay, GM God melee. I got you. I'm still gonna continue calling him GM though. <laughs> that makes sense. Total sense. Well, he is very strong with melee, so it definitely makes sense. I never heard about him before, so yeah. That's cool, that's cool. Good to know. That being said, uh, for now, the advantage goes to Caffeine. He has a shoot life lead. And yeah, on the verge of taking the first match. Almost got it right there. Oh, gets hit by the 2D though. And here we go with the close S counter hit. And Hagiara, man. Oh, trying to work on that, that comeback though. Uh oh. Ah, oh, big 6P though. And here you go. You are in the Jacko Limbo, sure. Yeah, let's see how this spins out. Mm. Ooh, nice. Ooh, saved by the... Oh, yeah. Big 2 hit for the kill. Good lord. Hagiara with the comeback. Yo, man. Just put the first match on deck on their side. So 1-0 for Hagiara as of now. Let's see if uh, Caffin can switch the tide of battle. Can shift the tide of battle. My bad. Mm. And here we go with the 2K2D. I gotta try to get something going right there. But as of now, Caffeine. Ooh, had the most amount of minions on deck. Okay, nice blocks. Ooh, okay, nice grab right there from Caffeine. Gotta go for the cross up. And gonna get another cross up to secure the corner positioning. Very nice use of the tap dust into the RC in order to get the extension and the wall break. <laughs> uh, 2K god freaking move, by the way. Jacko's 2K is just really freaking good. Nice juggle right there for Caffeine manages to get the first match of the second match. Uh, this uh, the first round of the second match. And here we go. Okay, Caffeine walking straight up right there. Getting the juggle. Oh lord. Ah, uh, you can see yeah, Caffeine trying to bait that burst, but Hagiara held on to it dearly and rightfully so. See how this spins out. Oh, nice grab from Caffeine, yo. Character knowledge right there. Goes for the empty jump. Oh, managed to evade the overdrive. And gonna get punished with an overdrive of their own. And Caffeine manages to take the second match right there. Very nicely done. Puts one on the deck. Perfect. It's only the start. And on with the third match. Who is going to take this one? We shall see. Okay, it's the minion battle. Oh man, Caffeine cornered themselves. <laughs> I got just running straight from one side of the screen to the other. Okay, nice 2k right there from Caffeine. I got a force to pop the reversed, uh, the, the, um, the flex shield. Okay, good stuff right there. Good lord. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, things are looking pretty bleak for Caffeine. Oh, but manages to get a hit in, though. And get out of the corner. Gonna get a huge counter hit with the 2D. Straight in 2D forever. Illusion Driver. Probably gonna Roman cancel to get the extension and the corner carry and the wall break. Hopefully to get the kill. Ah, oh, too far for the wall. Oh, Lord. And Hagiara, man. Not afraid. Caffeine popping the burst, though. Yeah, let's see how this spins out. Man, and it is a minion world. It is a minion war war right now. And Caffeine actually taking a little a slight lead right now. Oh 
Okay, here we go with Hagiara and the 6P. Unfortunately, didn't have any minion to uh, command. Let's see how this spins out. Big golden burst right here for Hagiara. Yeah. Man. Ooh, big, big, big counter hit with the 2D. Okay, no use of the super right there. And rightfully so. Here we go with the trade. Caffeine getting the corner positioning. Oh lord! That was huge. Straight into the Illusion Driver. Not gonna kill. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Hi, Yella. Trying to. Oh, getting the hidden. Waiting for Caffeine to land before starting his onslaught. Oh, wow. Oh, yo, we're working on a comeback. Is I gonna get it? Oh, big 6P. Oh, good lord. And here we go with the kill for Caffeine taking the lead 2-0. to 2-1, to I'm sorry. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Is Hagiara gonna be eliminated from the tournament? Especially for your information, Hagiara was the winner in the previous tournament of the Brojo Cup. So if he's eliminated right now, it would be a huge upset, but we shall see how this pans out. Good stuff right there from Caffeine. Looking very good right now, not gonna lie. Ah, oh, man. Damn, the chicks right there from Caffeine are real. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Ah, uh, you can see Agata trying to force, well, to encourage Caffeine to push a button right there using the Roman Cancel. Ah, oh, Lord. Nice 6 speed right there from Caffeine. Ooh, from uh, Hagiara, I'm sorry. Okay, Caffeine manages to get the grab. I think the block was in time. Oh, and the freaking overdrive to punish your own overdrive. Caffeine with the huge statement and the huge punish. Okay, match point right there for Caffeine. Let's see if Hagiara can bring it back or not. Oh, Lord. Big kickoff. Hit right there. Kick the minion, hit, oh, and the call out on the burst. Good stuff from Hagiara, managed to really get the bait on the burst. Oh, that aerial grab, though. Oh, and the freaking tap right here, yo. Hagiara knows, he knows, he knows, that's not safe. Okay, big 2D counter hit, though. If Caffeine wants to bring it back, this is his moment to shine. Ooh. Okay, good stuff right there. Nice grab from Caffeine. Oh, that was the moment. <laughs> and using the minion to punish him from behind. Okay, first uh, match point saved by Hagiara. Let's see if he can save another one. Okay, things are looking pretty good for Hagiara, not gonna lie. Back to the neutral. Ah, Lord. Wow, 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 okay. Damn, things are going pretty crazy. Yeah, Caffeine forced to pop the burst, or he would have eaten a uh, overdrive for sure. Big 6H right there, counter hit for Caffeine. Okay, and you're in limbo. Ooh, okay, nice use of the deflect shield. Get out of, of pressure. Nah, nice juggle. Here we go. Oh, what, what the hell is going on? But it still worked out in their favor. 6P. Good stuff from Caffeine. And we're in the corner. Hagiara needs to be careful. Oh, and it's the overdrive. The raw overdrive for the kill. Hagiara, man. Hagiara with the cojones. Good lord, Hagiara. Putting another one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. This is the absolute last uh, match of this current set. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Good lord. That was absolutely sick, man. The raw overdrive from Hagiara to secure the win. No uh, yellow room and cancel. No nothing. Just a raw overdrive for the kill. Okay, nice cross up right there. 6P for the win. And the juggle with the minion. Things are looking pretty good. And straight into the illusion driver. This is gonna uh, kill, I think, maybe? There's a lot of proration. Nah, it's not enough to kill, unfortunately, for them. But... Caffeine does have a hard knockdown. 
Oh, okay, ah, too late to punish to uh, kill the minion there. Wow. And the 2k for the kill. Caffeine taking the lead. Is he gonna be able to secure the win? We shall see. No more mask for you, sir. Ah, oh, man. Here we go, dude. Oh, nice 2d right there from Caffeine. Nice 6p. Here we go with the juggle. Oh, man. How get on not just wanting to get oh this is so crazy the spacing is out of this world man the spacing is out of this world you can see how you gotta try to get in let's see how this spins out back in the neutral damn that that freaking set that set is crazy the freaking abari oh no no that was definitely that was a that was a a, a an error that was that, and Akure Neymar gonna stick with his trusty Kai. He does have a pocket uh, happy gals though, so you can always uh, eventually see him. Uh, it, it's definitely not out of the realm of possibilities. But that being said, here we are, first match of this set. I'll be right back, guys. And the blocks have been insane from Musi Slayer. Good lord. Let's see how this comes out. Akure Nemu with the confirms. Gonna get the knockdown. Goes for the 2s2. Eight, uh, 2hs. Musi Slayer content to just block. Nice confirm right there from Akure Nemu. Gonna get the extension station. Not enough to kill. Is uh, Happy Kiel good for Slayer? I heard that Slayer can go through clone pretty easily. Nah, it's not. Uh, I don't, I don't per personally really know. Uh, I think it can really go either way, but as soon as uh, yeah, Slayer is upon uh, Happy Chaos, I can definitely see it like be a very bad time for Happy Chaos for sure. And yeah, I think with his Super Mappa Hunch, he can probably go through not only the not only the clone but also uh, through uh, Happy Chaos himself. So that kind of nullifies like the um, uh, the usefulness of the. Uh, of the clone. I think, I think, don't quote me on it though. But I think, yeah, his uh, Super Mappa Hunt, he goes through both at the same time. So, yeah. Yeah, it definitely does, actually, it does. Because uh, the Mappa Hunt, the Super Mappa Hunt is a, a, is a two hit, actually. It's him and then the the bats that are, uh, like, uh, that are behind him. So, it's a two hit, actually. So, uh, yeah, it, it actually kills the clone and also kills uh, Happy Gas if he's in uh, his stance to to uh, to to shoot, yeah. So yeah, no, it's it, it can definitely be problematic for Happy Kiaos this matchup again. But then again, if uh, Slayer doesn't have any bars, he doesn't have a very very easy way to get in. Even though the normal Mappa Hunt, he can you know just uh, like move him all across the, the 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 stage. There are ways to like bait it and whatnot. So yeah, it can be problematic, but yeah. Hey, good stuff from Hakure Demu manages to uh, take the first match. So let's see if he can seal the deal or if uh, Usui team is going to choose another character. Okay, let's go. Oh, not the optimized, uh, uh, the optimized uh, foul bunker loop, but if it, at least he's got the corner positioning. Hmm. Oh man, here we go. Usui Slayer trying to get the wall, uh, the uh, the grab. This is unfortunate for him. Here we go with the direct claw. What is it gonna be? Stun Dipper right at the start? Nah. Oh, big Mappa Hunt. It's probably gonna be a DP right there. Or not, uh, not a DP, a burst, but no. Hakure Lemu has a full. Yeah, okay, nice tech right there from Usui Slayer. And gets the kill with the 4K into the Mappa Hunt. Very nicely done by Usui team. Until this spins out. Nice 6P from Hakure Lemu. Gonna get the conversion station into the wall, uh, the wall assault. Okay, nice stuff right there from Hagure Demu. Gonna get the wall break with the sacred edge. We go the safe jump. Oh wow! 
Nice spacing right there from Agoredem. Goes for the RC the extension from the tab dust into directly and wall break and dead. Very nicely done. Okay, is Usi gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. Ah, uh, no, no jumping right there from you. Oh, that tick though. Oh wow, the call out right there from Musi Slayer. Trying to get the hit with the uh, the 2H. Ooh, nice. Oh man! Ah, uh, the 2H getting clipped by the 4S from uh, from Hakulele Moon. Hate to see it. Sacred Edge. Or the hard knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. Nice jump in right there from Musi Slayer. All you need is one hit. Oh no, and the counter, and this is death. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, this is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. Okay, I think that uh, Usui is going to change characters. I think he is. Oh, or not. Okay, my bad. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Uh, I'll pick my Pahanti straight into it. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, man, again the 2 H getting clipped by the 6, the standing H. Yeah, you can see you see Slayer definitely struggling to get in right there. Okay, finally getting the Mappa Hunt in. Okay, big combo right there incoming. Doesn't get the hard knockdown. Nice back dash though from Hakulele. Uh, Okie dokie, Birds and Cookie. Oh, nice aerial grab from Hakulele. Uh, ooh! Oh, and this is gonna sting right there. Hakulele name was so clean right now. Good lord, did he, did he wake up? <laughs> did he unleash the beast as well? With the jump in, nice a bar from Hakulele name to get his turn back. Gonna get clipped though by the Mappa Hunt. And go to close up pressure. Nice wave punish using the forest straight into the super Mappa Hunt. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, oh, good lord. Here we go, Hakulele in the Dire Claw. Wow! Okay, nice. Side switch. Big Mappa Hunch into the 2P for the kill. Okay, so Usi is still not out of it completely yet, but Hakulele just taking his time, not wanting to overextend, gets the hit right there, counter it with the 2P. Again with the counter hit. And here we go with the secret edge. Things are looking pretty bleak, not going to lie. Oh, the counter hit, yo, with the shimmy. Is that the end? No, it's not. One more hit. I can see deflect shield coming up. Or not, 2S for the kill. And just like this, I could lay Maron versus Caffeine. So as of now, up until now, probably most of the winning rates has been in favor of uh caffeine but it was the case when moron was using kai and milia so let's see how moron actually fares using testament i'm sure this is going to be a completely like different matchup if uh well when using testament so let's see if uh caffeine has the character knowledge has the experience against this particular matchup and uh if this the new, well, if this character fares better against Jack or not overall, I have absolutely no idea how this may play. Well, I do believe that the, um, the how do you call it, the um, Grim Reaper, you call it? The, Grim, the Grim Reaper definitely plays, it's definitely a tool, uh, the Grave Reaper, I'm sorry, the Grave Reaper is definitely a tool that you can use very efficiently against uh, Jacko, especially against her minions, her pesky minions. Uh, so yeah, let's see how they make use of it. And But as for now, Maron managed to get the first round, so oh wow. We go to stare down in favor of Maron. Uh, Maron trying to dispatch the to dispose of Dominion using the jumping key. Okay, and here we go. Ah uh, Maron man not afraid to go forward. Here we go with the jump in. Ah uh, Maron ah uh, getting the confirm straight into No, couldn't quite get the uh, wall spot, but it's still fine. Okay, Merle finally forced to pop the burst. Okay, nice knockdown right there from Merle. 
Oh, get the bait on the freaking yellow Roman castle. First round goes to... First match goes to Moron, yo. Things are looking great, yo. I love the new Moron, man. I really do. Definitely uh, wouldn't have expected them to play a Testament, but as uh, as I'm seeing right now, it's definitely fitting their play style, for sure. So let's see how this spins out. Oh, wow. Okay, and here we go with the close-up pressure, though. This is definitely a uh, side of uh, Testament that is quite hard for, for them, is that the defensive options of of testament aren't that well there, there aren't many of them to be honest they do have like a meterless reversal but it's fairly slow which you can use though to uh, which you can roman cancel by itself to just have like the in, uh, the uh, invincible frames on wake up but other than that it's pretty hard to use efficiently i feel can be uh easily like safe jump or safely timed so yeah definitely not the best reversal in the game but uh yeah overall the uh defensive like I suppose potential and also the corner not the corner the uh the neutral um how do you call this the neutral um ah I forgot my I'm forgetting my English <laughs> the neutral control of the the character is definitely up there up there with other characters as well and uh definitely finding testament even in the corner can very can prove to be very suffocating especially when they have bar when they have you in stained state and everything, it can definitely prove to be very, very hard to deal with. So yeah, definitely a character with a lot of offensive uh, capabilities, not so much defensively speaking. But as we can see, like right now, Maron is definitely doing the best of it and using it to uh, their full extent. As you can see, up one match and has one round down for the second uh, match. So let's see if uh, Maron can actually seal the deal for this one as well. Okay, here we go with the tab dust straight into the Roman cancel. Caffeine definitely feeling the heat and having to up one auntie just to just to be sure just to you know at least secure this. Oh man, this is probably not good. Big standing H. Okay, here we go. Wait, ah, he had a minion for the kill. This time around, Caffeine was the one to seal the deal for the second match. Put one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gents. Let's see if uh, Caffeine can actually seal the deal or not. We shall see. Okay, very nice use of the possession right there from Moran to get out of the corner and corner Caffeine in uh, in the process. They should be able to get the juggle. Yes, do. Okay, the stain has been applied. Not so much anymore. Very nice 6 period right there from... Wow, to confirm with the 4S when Stain State yeah, is managing to score the wall splat into the wall break using Venus Rovia. Oh, wow. That was... Oh, and the tab does for the kill. Moran, yo. I absolutely adore uh, Moran's gameplay right now. It's really, really entertaining. Very nicely done. So Moran forced to pop the burst, though. Getting hit by the 2D. You know, countered it. Hit. This is going to be huge for Caffeine. Here we go with the jump in. Nice 6 uh, H right there from Caffeine. Trying to maneuver over the Grave Reaper, but also the, uh, the Unholy Diver. Okay, here we go. Uh, the, yeah, the minions are definitely there. It's going to be hard. Yeah, for Moran to maneuver here. Getting hit by the tap dust and unfortunately losing the second, this uh, second round. Okay, this is the final round right now. Well, the third round, actually. Not final. There's always a possibility of a, a draw. Okay, Caffeine managing to, hit, uh, to score the first knockdown and the corner positioning. Good. Things are looking pretty bleak right now, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the minions have been powered up. Nice! Jump out. Manages to get the grab. Goes for the safe jump in. Would have gotten the uh, uh, the juggle. Very nice use of the Grave Reaper right there. Not only to dispatch of the first, but also the second. Uh, the second, what's it called? The second minion. Uh, probably Possession coming up. Possession, yeah, came in. Uh, okay, nice use of the Grave Reaper, man. This is really working very well in favor of of uh, of Moran. Oh, unfortunately they dropped it oh well and caffeine man oh a little bit too late now on the cancel isn't it no it's not okay good good stuff right there from caffeine okay, things are looking really oh this is bad this is pretty bad this is pretty bad okay here we go yeah that's the absolute last burst for Moran. they need to get something going 
Either use possession. Oh, get half stained. You have the stained state. Careful now. I'm getting hit by the six age. You hate to see it. Good stuff from Caffeine, though. Definitely not taking this away from them. Good stuff. That was definitely clutch. Could have went either way, but yeah, Caffeine managed to clutch it out. Here we go with Maron on the offense. Yeah, definitely not letting Caffeine. Oh, wow. That actually converts, man. That, that freaking juggles, yeah. Ah, too late for the uh, Unholy Diver, though. Ah, getting hit by the the Space Traveling Minion, what might I say. We go with the Jump It. Ooh, that was a huge Jump It into the Roman Cancel and the Juggle into the kill. Boom! Arbiter sign for the kill. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see if Miron can seal the deal or not. Okay, here we go to close-up pressure. Nice jump back. Oh, big jump in though from Maranio. We'll go with the jump in again. A stain has been applied. Ah, oh, no. Big jump in though from Caffeine. Gonna get the uh, the kick the minion loop right there into the Elysian driver. Driver! <laughs> okay, let's see if Maron can manage to bring it back. Nice grab right there. Ah, uh, and Caffeine with the cross of this is death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not burst here. Okay, very nicely done. On to the next battle. This is potentially match point, set point. Yeah. Maron needs to get something started. No more burst for you. Nice jump in. Okay, Maron not out. Ah, uh, drops the combo though. But gonna get- No! How did the freaking Arbiter not hit? What the hell? That's so sick. Why? Why did it not hit? That's making... Oh, man. And here we go with the... With the... Oh, very nice backdash right there on the Wild Assault attempt from... Uh, from Cafe. Ooh, big Yellow Roman cancel, though. Okay, nice stuff. Here we go. Stain has been applied. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, thank goodness for the jab, yo. Yeah. That really almost gave me a heart attack as well. Well, you could have probably heard it in my, my, my voice. What? <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. Anyways, yeah, this is looking pretty bleak. Not gonna lie. Ah, man. Yeah, what is Maron gonna do? Uh, it's not over till it's over, but... Ah, man. Too late to get the 6H in. The, not the 6H, the jumping H in. Ah, man. Yeah, you could see. It's minion time, yeah. Good stuff from Caffeine. Manages to... Uh, I'm seeing this. Here we go. This is the winner's final. GM versus Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. Dual one. And on we go. First round. Who is going to take it? Big counter hit 2D right there for Kohide. We did definitely fishing. Oh, wow. Right with the... Oh, golden burst. Kohide managing to get the grab. Oh, in the fuzzy, are you serious? That was sick. I didn't even know uh, freaking uh, Giovanna could do this. Great stuff from Kohide. Managed to get the, uh, the fuzzy. That was actually pretty crazy. Ooh, big Nasante right there to prevent the GM from getting out of the corner. First round goes to Kohide in a very, very, very dominant fashion, not gonna lie. Kohide definitely familiar with the matchup, unfortunately for him. Got jumped on. Okay, nice whiff punish right there from Kohide. Okay, big wild assault right there from Kohide. Ooh, wow, and the freaking simple tour for the follow up counter hit and the juggle. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Ooh. Ooh, big counter hit for GM. Gonna get the hard knockdown. No, try to go for a grab. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that, that was like checkmate situation right there. Good stuff from Kohide. Managed to sniff out the uh, the what's called the burst timing of uh, God Melia, unfortunately for them. But it's not over till it's over. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the 2D for the knockdown. Oh man, and Kohide ruthless at that. Ooh, tried to go for the Nasante though. Okay, yeah, GM with the yellow Roman cancel, the uh, the golden Roman cancel. Fortunately for them, yeah, the momentum is definitely in favor of Kohida, I'm definitely not gonna lie. 
Wait, not perfect, by the way. Good lord. Some good stuff right there. Mm. One second, guys. Ah, finally, here we go with God Melia finally getting one on the board. Good stuff from Koshide. Manages to get the second round, the second match as well. Actually, things are looking pretty bleak for uh, God Million, Not gonna lie. Good stuff. Damn, man. Kohide extremely dominant, I'm really not gonna lie. Okay, sorry for the wait. Ah, man. Here we go with ah, the Artemis on first serve for them. Koide was definitely sniffing it out. And again, the wow, the damn, the damage, man. With the side switch as well. Koide definitely knows his stuff. Ooh, almost got the hit with the aerial overdrive. Here we go with the knockdown. Ah, and the fake cross up. Yeah, I'm gonna go, yeah, with the overdrive. I should be able to get a hard knockdown. Okay. Decides to keep their. Uh, yeah, careful there. Yeah, Koide loves to do this shit. Oh man, ah, oh, the juggle. Careful there with the burst. Okay, very nice delay in the burst and gets the kill with the sledge. Good stuff from Melia. Not out of this yet though. Still needs this one. If they want to stay in the winner's side of the racket and make their way to the grand final straight away. Nice stuff right there from GM. There we go. That's the music of the comeback. That's the comeback music. Come on, God, Melia, show us what Melia can do. Let's go. Ah, man. Nice block, though. Ah, still gets hit by the two as though from the delayed Roman cancel from Kohide. And Kohide straight into the Ventania. Look at the damage. Good lord. Ah, 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 guilty gear. Good lord. Yeah, of course, of course. Have to do it. Wow, Nasante, man. Oh, this is bad. This is pretty bad. Oh man, and uses the wild assault to prevent to prevent GM from having access to the sets to go. So with this one, the losers final, then the grand finale. And then we shall say goodbye. <laughs> but we still have a lot of time. No worries guys. I'm not going anywhere. I definitely want to see how this tournament is going to end. So let's see how this uh, this goes. So that being said, I don't recall seeing having seen a single time when uh, Caffeine played against Hakure Leimu. So this is going to be an interesting matchup. Hakure Leimu does have a pocket Happy Chaos though, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, he did use it previously in the previous Brojo Cup against Hagiara in the Grand Finals. Unfortunately, it didn't really amount to a lot of success to be really, really uh, well honest. Because, well, Hagiara managed to win without uh, dropping a set, so yeah, uh, probably this time around Hakule Lemu is going to stick to his guns, which is uh, Kai, of course. So let's see how this pans out. Ah oh, man, you can see Caffeine successfully baiting the, the DP, but yeah. Oh wow, 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 what happened here? Well, the minions happened. Good stuff from Caffeine takes the first round of this match. Let's see how this is going to go. Very nice use of DP right there from Hakule Lemu. Gets cut by the 2k though. 
We'll go with the close-up pressure. Ah, oh, nice spacing from Agulele, but that was sick. Oh, okay, here we go with the... Uh, the guard point. And how could they move? Ah, uh, getting into corner positioning, but getting hit by the 2 k 2 d Okay, manages to get the uh, Roman cancel extension. Not enough to kill the... Ooh, I think he managed to... Not recover in time, unfortunately. With the RC extension, is that gonna kill? And it... Ooh, yeah, he wanted the burst, which is... It's commandable. He wanted the burst, but yeah. Okay, Lemu did not give it to him, and fortunately for him, he was able to um, get the punish and uh, get the round. Oh, wow. Drop the combo, but it's still fine. Oh, big kick the minion right there straight in the nose. Caffeine getting the knockdown and the cross up. Wow. Good stun dipper right there from. Uh, from Hagulelemu, finally should get the wall break and will indeed. Wow. Caffeine just running from one side to the other. As long as it works. Ooh, gets freaking grabbed though. This is unfortunate. Oh, and the beat on the burst! Hagulelemu getting the first match. Let's see if Caffeine can bring it back. We shall see. There's still two more chances, so it's definitely not over till it's over. Okay, here we go with the blocks. Agulelemu. Having to endure the pressure. Nice blocks. And... Yeah, that pesky... That pesky uh, guard point, man. Agulelemu finally forced to pop the burst. Having some problems getting in, though, as you can see. Definitely wary of the 2k2d of, uh, of caffeine. And here we go. It's minion time. Stun Edge almost there to save the day. Wow, recovered just in time not to get hit by the minion's attack, too. Ah, this is an unfortunate attempt to entire. A nice spacing again from Hagulelemu. Yo, can wow! Using the cancel of hitting the minion uh, into the stun edge and hitting Jacko in the process with the stun edge. That was beautiful. Beautiful stuff from Hagulelemu. Managed to get the hit and the kill. Ah, there we go. Caffeine has been electrocuted, has to hold it. Oh wow, and the guard point of course. <laughs> nice air to air. Akulelemu disposing of not only the minion, but also hitting Jacko in the process. Two birds, one stone. Oh no, he dropped it, this is unfortunate. Oh man, and Caffeine managing to also get the bait on the deflect shield, this is huge. No more burst for you, bro. Yep. Is that gonna? No, it's not. It's not. Ah, but he has... Yeah, he's gonna RC. Or not. Or not. My bad. He could have RC'd, though. And he would have won. But it's still fine. He won regardless. With the save jump. Good stuff from... Caffeine. Definitely not out of this yet. For sure. Ooh, that spacing, though. Ooh, that spacing, though. Double spacing. Always standing, like, one millimeter outside of the range of Jacko at every given time. At any given time. That's pretty great. Oh wow, the grab from Caffeine though. Good stuff. Went for the cross up, and uh, this time around, Hakurai Lemu did manage to block the first part. Ah man, straight into yeah, the Illusion Driver, and Caffeine should be able to take it. Or not, my bad. Okay. I was a little bit, I was a wee bit too optimistic for, for Caffeine this time around. Ooh, the spacing though. Ah man, you still got it. Ooh! The standing P to check the Thunder, the Fudra Dark, man. The, the, uh, the food radar cat. Yeah, good stuff from Caffeine. Puts one on the board. One match apiece. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go with the jump ins. Good lord. And here we go with the 2k2d. Forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. And get some real estate. Ah, good lord. Maybe a little bit too optimistic with that food radar. Oh, for sure, for sure. Especially against somebody like Caffeine, who definitely checks you like at every single given time. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you have to try it. 
sometimes you have to be you know overly uh overly optimistic in order to get stuff starting i feel and here's oh nice blog though good stuff from hakure yo ah hakure that was your cue to get your turn back oh nice stand up there we go you going in the you're going in the in the corner bay ah man and the abari the abari from cafe for the kill very nicely done Okay, what else? What else? Ah, man, yeah, a little bit, nah, a little bit too late for the uh, the conversion right there in the Sun Edge. Ah, man, pesky minions, bro. Okay, finally, I got him. Of course, pop the birds again, man, hitting the uh, the guard point. That has been the bane of Hakure Lame for sure. Good stuff from Caffeine, though. A very nice tech from Cafe. Getting hit by the Sun Dipper though. Hakure Lemu trying twice to bait the burst. But yeah, Cafe not giving to him a single time. And rightfully so. That's also the mark of a very good player is when it's very hard to bait your burst. <laughs> yeah, well. What would have happened if you tried? So yeah, I agree with him. Let's see how this pans out. And I mean, yeah, he probably definitely has a pretty nice, a decent uh, happy gal, so. Okay, good stuff, and here we go already, Hakure Lemu. Okay, he's got the curse. Ah, I tried to go for the other cross-up, but... Okay, still managed to deal the grab. Oh man, yeah, no entire there, that was so unfortunate. Ooh, tried to go for the 2S, but unfortunately for him, the 2D of... Caffeine was a little bit quicker. Side switch, nope, grab it is. A grab again. I'll try to go for the instant overhead. Oh, the, the tap does. Oh, okay. Big 6H, though. Good stuff right there from Hakure Lemu managed to get the first uh, the, um, the first match. Okay, let's see how this wins out. Oh, he's got the side switch. Let's go. Ooh, there's a little bit of lag right there. Okay, nice grab right there from Caffeine. Wow, I don't even know which side it was on. Careful there. Okay. And no more bullets though, careful, only two. Okay, straight into the air six. <laughs> okay, good stuff from Hakure Lemu. He's got all his bullet back. A little bit less uh, concentration. Ooh, this is bad. Yeah. And here we go with the kick, the minion. Here we go with the deflect shield. They didn't really do anything to be honest. Because Happy Chaos does not care about the deflect shield. And here we go with the instant the tap dust. And it actually worked in favor of uh of Hakure Lemu, yo. Okay, good stuff. Okay, one more. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. One more match. The one who takes this one will make their way to the losers final and face against God Milia. Who is that going to be? We shall see. Okay, Caffeine forced to pop the burst. Woo, very nicely done by Hakure Lemu right there. Okay, goes for the grab. And the follow-up of the grab. Okay, ooh, no entire there. Oh man, gets split by the standing H though. And the 6H as well. Okay, nice block. Against with the 6H, that has been the bane of him. I feel, okay, nice take. Oh, and the 6PO from Caffeine. Caffeine, you cannot jump on him. Like, literally. It's impossible to jump on him. Okay, good stuff. And straight into the Elysian Drive. This is going to do a lot of damage. And it's going to kill, by the way. Okay, match point for Caffeine. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? Let's see how this pans out. <laughs> the ridicule. Ah, oh, man. Ooh. Okay. Ah oh, man, nice grab from Caffeine. This might be pretty bad for Hakure Demo, not gonna lie. Ah oh, man, ah oh, man, ah oh, man. Ooh, this is bad. One more hit, one more nice back dash, but that was so scary. Ah, this is over. Bye bye. Good stuff from Caffeine managed to eliminate Hakure Demo. Caffeine, you take my show. Let's go. So yeah, Godmelia, a very, very welcome surprise in the Brojo Cup. Extremely strong South Korean 
Melia player, first participation already guaranteed top three in the tournament. So yeah, extremely uh, strong player, especially since today we had a heck ton of participants. So yeah, I, I like to emphasize that, that today we have 31 participants in the Bird Cup, which is actually extremely huge. Uh, so yeah, I'm much appreciated for all of the participants. Uh, much love to all of the viewers as well. Always a treat to uh, do this every uh, every other week, uh, which is to host the Brojo Cup and you know have uh, some time with you guys. It's always a very very nice treat. Anyways, that being said, here we go. This is the losers final. Let's see who's going to take it. And as of now, GM definitely looking pretty good. I do believe that uh, Godmail is actually the person to have sent. Uh, caffeine in the loser's bracket, actually. Oh, no! GM sent, um... Half, uh, sent Hagiara in the loser's bracket. So now, he has to do his best in order to do... To eliminate caffeine from the tournament. So let's see how this pans out. If he managed to, uh... Send Hagiara in the loser's bracket, that means that he's definitely... Familiar with the Jacko matchup. So let's see how caffeine manages to... Survive this storm, we shall see. Okay, oh man, here we go with the, the Artemis. And man, GM with the in and outs, man. Gets the opening. Oh, and goes for the side switch. Good stuff, man. And goes for the Quake Roman Cancel. And this should do it, yeah. Into the overdrive for the kill. Also got the wall break. That was sick stuff right there from GM. Definitely not gonna lie. That was extremely, extremely one-sided. Let's see if Caffeine can manage to bring it back. We shall see. Yeah, you can see GM alternating between the Artemis and the Mizra. The Mizra? That's how we call it, I think. Yeah, in order to uh, catch... Uh, to catch... Um, to catch Caffeine off guard. Okay, oh, here we go with the wall break. The wall break using the winger for the hard knockdown. And here we go with the jump in for the kill. And things are looking extremely good for GM. God, Melia, that is a very fitting name. Definitely not going to lie. Ooh, here we go with the jump in. Goes with the bad boon to get the knockdown. And the lust shaker this time around. Okay, cool, says. Ah, and the freaking closest to catch the bag dash, yo. Let's see how this spins out. And here we go with the jump in. A nice. Nice take pressure right there from Caffeine. Gets. Ah, uh, tries to get the grab. And finally manages to get the grab. Oh, and the delayed. Uh, the delayed overhead right there from Caffeine manages to get the kill. Okay, one round apiece. If Caffeine gets this one, it would definitely be good for their morale. Oh, wow. That freaking spacing yo from GM. Oh, and here we go to jump in. Oh, Lord. Get a nice bad moon right there. And goes for another bad moon. Manages to get the hidden. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Again with the Artemis for the maximum damage. Oh man, almost got the kill. Here we go, GM. And goes for the low for the kill. Man, GM looking extremely strong. I'm not gonna lie, man. How the hell did Kohide manage to get like a 3 to 0 against him? Like this is this is like unexplainable, like crazy. Nice forest right there from GM. Let's go GM! Now don't get reverse swept, yeah for sure. So if GM manages to win this one, uh, he'll make his way to the grand final. Uh, during which he'll be able to possibly get his revenge against Kohide, who's the one who sent him in the loser's bracket during the winner's final. Nice jump in right there from GM. He's gonna do... Oh man, he goes for the reset! 
Oh, nice 2k 2d. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the yellow wind cancel. Ooh, no block on the tap dust. Oh man, he believes in it. I don't agree with it though, but yeah, I definitely don't agree with this. Yeah, I don't agree with this. But let's see. Yeah, yeah, no, it is what it is. Good stuff from GM. I mean, he's leading 2-0. He can take some, some, can take some, um, some risks. It's not that big of a deal. And you're there with caffeine popping the burst. Oh wow, managed to whiff punish the, the 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 minion too. That's pretty crazy. Ah man. Here we go with the jump in. Whew. Ah oh, man, here we go with the bar from Caffeine manages to get the... Uh, that was a failed, uh, yeah, that was a failed instant overhead, uh, blue Roman cancel, which is fine. Good stuff from Caffeine manages to get the fourth, the third match. One more match to even things out. Let's see if Caffeine has it in him in order to do so, we shall see. Start of the round 2D. Oh man. Oh man, here we go. Ah, uh, you can see, yeah. GM trying to bait that burst, but no, Cafe not giving it to him. Nice, uh, take pressure into the grab. Ooh, this is bad. Yeah, nice aerial grab from Cafe. Gets the side switch as well. Gets another grab. And gets a closest counter hit. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, things are looking pretty good for Cafe. One more round and then they even things out. Here we go with the... Oh, uh, Lord. Yeah, here we go with the fake cross-up. GM definitely looking pretty good right now, though. Goes for the grab. Wow. Straight into the winger. Boom. Gets the kill, too. Okay, potential last matchup. Uh, last round of the set. Okay, match point. Caffeine gonna be able to seal the deal or not. Ah, oh, man. Here we go with the juggle. Using the Wild Assault in order to put a minion out. Wow. Oh, wow. Big 2H. This is huge. Yeah. GM forced to pop the burst or else Caffeine would have uh, overdri overdriven. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The grab again, man. Caffeine definitely. Yeah. This is going to be death. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Caffeine. Putting one on the board and even things out. Or not. My oh, Okay. Yeah. And here we go. The minion for the kill. That was crazy, yo. Good stuff, good stuff. I know, right? He can't keep getting it away with this. Can't keep getting away with it. Yeah, well, it is what it is, bro. Good stuff, though, from Caffeine. Even things out. Oh, man. Caffeine looking good, yo. Not gonna lie, I would appreciate it if, uh, if Godmelia could make it to Grand Finals because I want to see a rematch with against Kohide, but Caffeine just too strong, man. Just too strong. Okay. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, nice air to air right there from GM. Saw the slight window in which they could get in. But man, caffeine with oh good lord. With the check, the 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 run out of the corner in order to under uh, how do you call it to uh, to cross under a GM and punish them straight into the overdrive. Yeah, this is looking pretty bleak, not gonna lie. Things look pretty good for GM until until the third match. And for now, like, ah, uh, caffeine, man. Let's see how this spins out. Nice bad moon. Nice grab right there from GM. GM using a lot of FD. Ah, man. And yeah, caffeine using a lot of FD to keep GM out. Ah, finally finds the opening. Good lord, it took so long. Yeah, and we're going on to the last round of the last match. Who's going to take it? We shall see. Big stakes right now. Ah, and here we go with GM finding the first, not the first hit, but the first like hit on block at least. Ah man, and the first hit goes to Caffeine. Ah man, here you have to block. Nice use of the Capel. Ah, try to go for the overhead. That ah, is pretty bad. Oh, no more burst, yo. This is bad. This is pretty bad. Oh, here we go with the jump in. Oh, catches the back dash. Things are looking pretty good, yo. And here we go. Winger, yes, Winger it is. What's gonna be the... What's gonna be the mix? It's gonna be the mix. Oh, yo! The Artemis, no! 
Oh, and it takes me! Is that gonna be enough? Oh, and it is! Good lord, GM saves it by the skin of it! Bring it back, we shall see! It ain't my show! And yeah, just for your information, uh, Kohita was the one to send God Milia in the loser's bracket. Uh, so, uh, right now, Kohide sits on the winner side of the bracket and therefore needs uh, only to win one set compared to Melia, who needs to win two sets in a row if she wants to, uh, if she wants to, um, well, basically win the tournament. So this is definitely an uphill battle for GM, but GM looking very strong right now, definitely not gonna lie. Kaboom! Straight into the chaser for the hard knockdown. Sorry, spins out. Oh, and here we go with the Artemis, man. Side switch, yo, with a perfect. What a statement, by the way. Good stuff from GM. Let's see if GM can continue like this. Big 4S right there. And goes for the low this time around. Kohide not ready to block this. Good stuff. Gets the juggle. Goes for the extension station and the cross up. Very nice block. Oh, wow. In the sledge, yo. Is that going to be a double perfect, yo? Yeah, Kohide is not going to allow this, I feel. Double perfect would be humiliating. Ah, no. Oh, man. Here we go with the Nasante. No, and the reflect shield, the deflect shield, yo. And here we go with Kohide. Okay, trying to go for the Anasante. Oh, and the wake up overdrive. Brrr. Not over till it's over. Oh, big 6PO. And a freaking IAD into the uh, jump HS. GM finally puts one on the board against Kohide. Okay, that's the start. That's the start. That's how we go. Let's see if GM can manage to be as convincing for the remaining ones as well. Okay, here we go. The Lust Shaker and Kohide answering with the 4 HS. Good lord. Big Nasante right there. Kohide going to get a huge amount of damage right there. No Nasante this time around. And no Nasante this time, though. No. I definitely, I definitely, I, I cursed it. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, GM. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff, though, from Kohide. And on to the second round of this second match. Kohide going for the grab. And for another grab, of course. And another grab. And another grab. Or not. Oh, and another grab. And this is going to be dead. Unless, yeah, okay. The GM with the burst. Ah, getting hit by the... Wow, the air to air though in favor of GM. That being said, Kohide did benefit from the yellow room and cancel. Gets hit by the grab. Ooh! Here we go with the hard knockdown. Not enough to kill. Kohide is definitely waking up with a... Definitely waking up with the overdrive. Definitely, for sure. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Oh, 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 and the bar, oh, oh, good lord, oh, good lord, I'm clenching my, oh, and the grab, oh, the grab for Kohide for the kill, good lord, Kohide brings it back, oh, that was so stressful at the end, good lord, good stuff from Kohide, let's see how this spins out, one match apiece, okay, nice first start from Godmelia. Gets ahead with the far S. Confirmed into the Wild Assault for the extension station. Goes for the empty jump. Empty low. And should be able to get the wall break. Into the winger. Yeah, boom. Let's see. Ah, man, Koei did just, yeah. Tagging along. Going for the Ventania for the hard knockdown. And the damage, of course. Ooh, big pointy right there. Oh, and another Nasante. Couldn't quite get the follow-up, but ah, he's gonna get the kill there for sure. Yeah. Damn, the damage though. The damage though. Good stuff from Kohide. And on to the next battle. Ooh, nice bar from GM. Not afraid. But as you can see, Kohide can also bar a lot. Yeah, man. The jump, the ins and outs of Kohide have definitely been destroying GM. But, but finally GM getting something good right now. With the Artemis. Look at the damage, yo! 
Ooh, nice blocks. Oh my god, hit by the fully charged dust, yo. Kohide the disrespect, yo. Good lord. Ah, this is not gonna hit, is it? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff from Kohide, man. Kohide looking so clean today. What the hell is happening to him? This is crazy, yo. Kohide looking super clean today. Okay, this is potentially the last match of tonight. Potentially, I say, because we never know. GM might wake up to Ultra Instinct or whatnot. To his Super Saiyan 3 form, his Super Saiyan 4 form, we don't know. Anyways, here we go with ah, the sick big 6 speed right there from GM. The GM getting on the ground, gets the close S. Counter hit, should be able to get a corner carry combo. Ah, it goes for the grab. And the side switch, and this should be it. Ah, uh, maybe not. Ah, oh, man, Melia, the damage. Oh, yes! Who the squish? That is so close. Good stuff from uh, GM saving it. See if he can save it again. Nice air to air for Kohide. Gets the juggle. Gonna do a lot of damage, yo. Nice wall break. Boom! Straight into the cannon drill. Man, the ins and outs. Oh, wow. I got hit. Okay, here we go to close-up pressure. Too far to get the... Ah, oh, man. Here we go to the yellow ruin cancel, though. Ooh. Okay, good stuff right there. Ooh. And, oh. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Cool, we did once. He had the hit. Straight into the Ventani. Is that going to kill? No, it's not. Too far. Ah, man, gets hit by the tick pressure at all. And we are on tournament point. If GM loses this one, it is over for him. And Koide will have won the tournament. And Koide. Koide is so hard to shake off, man. Ah, nice. Good lord. Okay, here we go. GM getting the cross up. Should be able Ah, okay. Gonna get a mix. And the Nasante, yo! The Nasante, the bane of GM, if I might say. Good stuff from Kohide, getting a clean combo, man. Into the wall break, one more chance. Woo! That was a big counter hit, yo. Good stuff, yeah. GM gonna invest in... Ah, uh, nice blocks from Kohide. Oh, but still got hit by the Nasante, you hate to see it! Good stuff from Kohide.